What's up guys? I wanted to take a little bit of time to share with you my home for the last two and a half years. This 2021 Ram Promaster 3500. I bought it brand new and converted it myself and I just wanted to share it with you. So let me welcome you to my home. We'll start in the front here where I got this thick curtain that acts as a barrier between the cab and the living space. It helps keep all the heat kind of back here during the winter time. And then above that is the bulkhead area. I keep my camp stove up there. If I do any cooking in the van, it's generally on that. I got a couple other options, but that's usually what I cook on. I keep my shoes up here, extra winter jackets, things that I want um, generally accessible. And behind the curtain here, you can see I got my trash can, which has some other stuff in it right now, but I also got a camp table, my coffee maker, a broom, and I should mention that this is kind of just like a day-to-day. -day. This is kind of how I keep the van. I didn't really spend a ton of time tidying it up, but I just wanted to share with you what it's like on a normal day for me. So... You can see on a normal day, my laundry is full. So this is where I keep my laundry, right beside my closet here. And then above that, I got these hooks that you can see here for all of my hoodies. I wear a lot of hoodies, so that's why I keep those. And then the rest of my clothes stays in this closet here. I really wanted to have a spot to hang up my shirts, and it does take up a little extra room doing it that way, but I also keep extra shirts down here, some thermal underwear, and then my socks and underwear and then pants i kind of have it a little bit backwards pants up here shirts down there but it is what it is but i also got a mirror in here this is also where i keep my paper towel and it's just a spot where it worked out really well for a, a space saving option for that and then up here i have this upper cabinet this is just where I keep stuff that I use regularly, kind of my toiletries and that kind of thing. It was originally for food, but I found that I use it more often for the things I just use regularly. And that's because I don't have a lock on it. It stays closed on its own. The drawers here do open on their own. So I have this aluminum piece here that keeps the drawers closed. And when I'm not using it, it goes up here above the door. It's a nice spot for that. And then the drawers all open. This is where I keep my food, cooking spices, uh, cooking stuff, plates and things like that. And then I got this nice countertop to cook or do whatever on. I got more cabinets up here along with this sound bar that I use as a speaker. I can plug my phone into that. And then on the other side, I got this cabinet here. This I keep like hats, some of my like knee pads for mountain biking. And this is where my solar charger is, so I can monitor that here. And I have a breaker here to cut the charging power to the entire system if I ever need to do that. I have 300 watts of solar on the roof of this thing, which feeds into two 200 amp hour batteries. So I have 400 amp hours worth of power. It keeps everything I have in here powered with no issues. It's at 60% right now. That's about as low as it gets. And uh, next sunny day, it'll, it'll charge itself all back up. And below that, I got my map of the United States. These are all the places that I've been to in the van. If I had a pin for everywhere else I've been to, I would have them all over the place, except for Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, and Hawaii. Those are the only places I haven't been in the country yet. But right here, I got my controls for turning the lights on and off and they do they are dimmable and then i got my two benches this one is a bench that has my refrigerator under it so it locks with this it just goes in those couple holes there and it locks and then you open it up and there's the fridge the heater's also under there as well little bit of a design flaw there i shouldn't have put my heater so close to the fridge but i have insulated it so they don't really bother each other and then on this side this bench has some storage underneath of here i keep extra pillows and blankets and that sort of thing under there and then all around you can see up here over here and then down here i have usb outlets and then also down here i have my controller for my heater which unfortunately is not working right now so there's some other things i've been doing to keep warm so i didn't make my bed and that's because i don't normally make my bed 
but what I do have is um, an electric blanket. This runs off of AC power. It's a real low draw. So I've been using that to stay warm. And then on really cold nights, I have this hot water bottle. I put some boiling water in there and that thing stays hot all the way into the morning. So really like that thing. And then I just have, um, I have a sleeping bag. It, it can get very cold. There's been some nights even down here in North Carolina that have gotten down to the teens. So trying to keep it warm in here. I'll wake up sometimes and my thermometer up here will read about 25 degrees. I've seen it as low as 19 in the morning before. So it gets cold. Um, also back here, I got my TV. I got that cabinet that has uh, a bunch of DVDs in there. I also have a Roku stick on here so I can watch Netflix or whatever. And then I got another cabinet here as well. And in the back there, I also have a fan. So that helps to keep it cool in the summertime. Although anybody who's lived in a van without an AC unit knows that it gets brutally hot in the summer no matter what you do so i don't have air conditioning in the back here but i do have a max air fan this is kind of the same fan everybody else uses uh, you can run air in and out on that one a couple other things this is a table so this comes up and goes like that and i got a table I don't really use that too often because I spend a lot of time at like coffee shops and that sort of thing, but I do use it once in a while. And then also, I'm not going to fully set it up, but this here pulls out as well. So it goes out that far, and then that turns into a second bed, and I've had a couple people use that, and it works out just fine. And yeah, that's pretty much the inside of my van, at least the living area. So now let me go show you the back, which is the garage. All right, coming around the back here, you will see the garage area. And I definitely don't have this tidied up right now at all. You can see I got a couple bikes in here. They're just kind of leaning in there. I've got this pile of sandbags. Um, if you don't know, I do video production. so. Those are the one things that uh, didn't make it back into my studio yet because I don't want to carry them all in there. I do have uh, some luggage. There's a few pieces of luggage in here. I do travel in the van a lot, but I also fly around different parts of the world uh, for work and for fun. I got some traction boards in here, bike pump. These are some camp chairs, a few miscellaneous things for bike riding, my helmets. And then down here, this is kind of cool. This is where I keep all my tools. So those are all nice and handy and organized for me if I ever need them for my bikes or for the van itself. Got a water tank, which I really only ever use while I'm camping. The diesel tank for the diesel heater. And I got extra blankets in the doors. I kind of don't use these very often, but I wanted to use the space for something. So it worked out for the blankets. But yeah, that's pretty much my entire tiny house on wheels my 2021 ram pro master 3500 if you guys are interested i do have another video that i filmed of this that shows everything i showed you in great detail and much more i will link that in the description but i just wanted to show you a quick kind of day-to-day look at my van and I hope you appreciate it. If you did, please hit that like button. Please subscribe to the channel. And let me know what you think of the van build down in the comment section. Thanks, guys.